What's going on everybody? Happy Friday evening. You made it through the week successfully, I hope, and I hope you're ready for this weekend to get a little bit of rest and relaxation. Let's go ahead and get into tonight's video. Tonight I'm going to cover a little bit more of scripting uh, in Bash using flags or options or variables or arguments or whatever you want to call them. I've gone with flags because that's what most people call them when you use a Bash script with a dash whatever or a dash dash whatever um, option. Um, People know them as flags, so that's what we're going to call them. Now, I say I'm doing this as my last video for a while because, um, one, I'd like to move on to cover some other things. Um, and two, to be honest, these videos haven't been that popular, so I don't think there's too many people that are interested in bash scripting or at least not scripting with flags or whatever. So um, I'm just going to kind of move on from this. But I wanted to get this video out because I'm going to kind of showcase the way I am going to redo my Git um, repo maintenance script and also my arch install script or my um, not necessarily arch install script excuse me my um, uh, my setup install script so I've got a few other things going on that I'm working on that are actually gonna kind of use this format so I figured I'd kind of show it off and show how it works so let's go ahead and launch a terminal and we're gonna zoom in and as most of you know, I've been using Emacs for about a week or so. Well, I've given up on that. I haven't changed my Bash RC yet to unalias vim to Emacs, but um, yeah. So nothing against Emacs. Um, again, it's a great tool. Um, I learned a lot using it, actually. There's a lot to it, and that's kind of the problem. I don't need all that stuff it has attached to it. I just like my simple old vim. So I'm going back to vim, um, and I am going to actually uh, just escape my alias here, and we're going to say vim, and we're going to call this flag script.sh, and we're going to get going on this. So first thing we need to do is we need a shebang. So we're going to go into insert mode, and we're going to give a shebang here. I'm not going to title the project because this is just an example for my video, but we've got that going now. Next, what we need to do is we need to create args, um, and that's going to equal get opt. And you could use the dash a flag here, but we're not going to, and we're just going to use options and what this is going to do is it's going to lay out our options so um, I'm going to kind of use this like I'm doing something for Git. so we're going to have an A option we're going to have an S option we're going to have a C option a P option and an H option and then we're going to take that and do long so you know when you write a bash or when you run a bash script you do like if we're running this script the flag script dot sh and then you could do the dash a or dash s or dash c well you can also do like the if you did dash h for help you could do dash dash help well that's what the long function or the long portion right here is. so if we do long and then in double quotes here we're going to put um, a is going to actually equal to status and then s is going to be show c is going to be commit P is going to be push and H is going to be help. So then we are going to do dash dash and we're going to give it the documents and we are going to close that parenthesis. So then what we need to do now is we need to eval set dash, oops, not equal, dash dash dollar sign ARGS. So basically what that does is that stores each individual, it breaks this down and stores each one as its own individual um, um, argument. So once we got that done, we need to set these. So we are actually going to um, set status equal to false. And we're going to do show the same thing equal to false. And we're going to do commit equal to false I'm sorry for being so repetitive and we're gonna do push equal to false and we're gonna do help equal to false so now these are automatically all set to false by doing this so like I said we're gonna be using boolean I don't know if I said that before but we're using boolean functions here as opposed to um, doing it one of the ways we did before so now what we're going to do is we have those all set to false. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a while loop. So we have while true do, and then we're going to say case dollar sign one in, and then we're going to say a or dash dash status, and that's going to say status equals true, 
So what this is going to do is it's going to look to see if that status is actually set to true. If we throw that flag, like if we ran flag script.sh a or dash dash status, that would set it to true. So it's going to run through this while loop, checking each one of them to see if any of them is set to true. Then it's going to shift and it's going to move argument one into the out. It's going to get rid of argument one and then shuffle down argument two into the number one position and so on. That's what that shift um, is going to do. So we're going to shift and then we're going to do dash s and then dash dash show. And then we're going to say show. Oops, that should be equals, not dash true. Equals true. So that show, then the same thing, shift. And then we're going to say dash C or dash dash commit. And we're going to say commit equals true. And then we're going to shift. And then we're going to do dash P or dash dash push. And then we're going to say push equals true shift and then we are going to that's one two three four and then we have h for help so then we're going to do dash h or dash dash help and we're going to say help equals true and then we're going to shift and then we're actually going to have a dash dash which will just break um, so when we break that's going to uh, um, break the loop and then we're also going to have star which means if we do any other um, flag that is not given in this for as options we're gonna print F and then we're gonna say unknown option and then percent s and then new line and we're gonna say dollar sign one, or not new line, uh, we're going to say dollar sign one, and then we're going to exit one, and then we're going to esync, which we're going to close that case, and we're going to be done with that. So basically what this does is we've got all these declared up here. So this is, we have the options of AS, CPH, and then the long version of status, show, commit, push, and help. And eval set args, what that does is breaks each one of these up into its own argument. We initially call them all false, which means that they're all false, we haven't called any of those flags, and then it's going to run this while loop that's going to check to see if we did call any of them. If we did call them, it's obviously going to be set to true. And um, then what we do is we come down here and we are going to then do some if statements. We're going to say if, and we say um, dollar sign status equals true then and let's just say we're gonna echo getting status and then fine and then we're gonna say if show equals true then echo show me the money <laughs> Some of you might know what that's from, some of you might not. Um, then we're going to say, not if, we're going to say phi. And then we're going to say if. And then we're going to do dollar sign commit equals true. Then committing. And then we're going to say if, sorry, this is, I know this is redundant, but I'm just kind of going through this to show you how to. You could do anything you wanted in here with this is true. You could have functions that you've written to call based on what um, which uh, flag has been uh, switched to true. You could have just a, a set of instructions in each one. You could do whatever you want to in these, basically, um, after this is shown for true. I'm just doing this to show you that um, this is kind of the format I'm going to be using, and this is how, um, how it works. So then we're going to do dollar sign push equals true, then echo push it real good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, 
you might know what that's from too. So if if you do, by all means, leave it in the comment. But that's uh, that's some stuff from my um, my uh, I guess childhood and early teenage years. Um, so uh, maybe later teenage years for uh, for this one here. But um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, just having a little fun with this. And then the last one we're gonna say um, if help equals true. We do a little something different with this. Then um, we are actually going to echo, and we'll do dollar sign base name. Um, and then we will. How about do options? Boy, I cannot type tonight. Options available. There you go. And we'll do dash a comma dash dash status um, dash s comma dash dash show um, dash c comma dash dash commit dash p dash dash push um, dash H, which is obvious because you pressed H, but dash dash help. And then it's also going to give it the dash dash, which is going to break the loop and call it good. So we need those. Um, and then five. And that should be it. So let's write that. Okay, no errors. Got to love that shell check. So basically, again, we are going to set our options here. Basically, um, eval set is going to break these options up into each of their own arguments. We've set them to false to begin with, so that way when we run the script, it doesn't throw any errors or ask us for a flag or whatever. It's just going to break um, based on this one, since um, it really doesn't do anything unless you show a flag. But then it's going to run through this while loop to check to see if any of those flags are set to true, or to see if we've thrown the break flag, or if we've thrown an incorrect flag. Um, it's going to warn us um, that it's got an unknown option if we throw an incorrect flag. And then when it does show the flags that we picked, um, like if we pick the dash A, the dash S, the C, the P, or the H, it's going to echo out whichever one of these we picked. So let's go ahead and Escape, right and quit. Oops, caps lock is on. Right and quit. How did that happen? Um, then we're going to ch mode and we're going to do plus x and we'll do flag script dot sh and hit enter. So now it should be executable. So now if we run flag script dot sh and we don't give it anything, that's all it's going to do. If we do a flag script and do dash dash, same thing. It just breaks the loop and ends the script or basically runs through the rest of the script and since it doesn't give it an option then it doesn't do anything. Um, if we give it the H, so let's go ahead and give it the dash H flag, we get flag script options available, dash A, dash dash status, dash S, dash dash show, so that's good. Um, if we go ahead and give it the A, then it says getting status. So remember the A was status. Um, let's go ahead and give it the S flag. Um, yeah, it says show me the money. So that's the show. Um, we're gonna do C, it says committing. We are going to do P, it says push it real good. Oh, we have C and P, so committing and push it real good. So you can see we throw two flags. Um, actually, if we do that and do that, you can see it does the same thing. So multiple flags work. Um, and if we do, let's say, um, R, we don't have an R flag, it's going to say get opt invalid option R. So you can see that works now. So it's actually pretty cool, pretty cool way to do this. We could actually, let's go ahead and vim back into uh, flag script and we could go down to the bottom here. We have all these and we could do echo isn't this script the coolest thing you have seen all day and then we write and quit and now if we run it oops I don't want to <laughs> I want to vim into it um, with no flags we just get isn't this the coolest thing you've seen all day if we actually give it a flag and do dash a it says getting status isn't this script the coolest thing you've seen all day 
Um, actually, let's go back into it and go down to the help section here because we don't want it to uh, run the rest of it if we do the help section. So let's do break. And we're going to write. Um, oh, do we have. Uh, that's probably why. Right. Uh, break is only valid in while loops. Oh, that's right. Okay, so then that's not what I want. I want exit. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. I had a little brain fart. Let's clear the screen and let's do flag dash h. So now we get the options for the script, but it doesn't print out that last portion. But if we do dash uh, c, it prints out committing and it says, isn't this script the coolest thing you've seen all day? Or if we just run that, it's isn't this the coolest thing you've seen all day? So that's kind of the way that works, um, setting Boolean flags. Um, so that means they're set to false to begin with or set to true if you want. But um, set to false to begin with and then it checks to see if they're called to true and does whatever function or instructions you want it to do once um, it realizes what's set to true. So, I just wanted to go over that real quick. Um, I hope you guys found it interesting and maybe get some use out of it. Um, I know I've really been enjoying learning uh, using flags and bash scripting. Um, I really enjoy bash scripting and everything I can do with it. Um, I know it's not the most popular thing in the world, obviously, based on my video uh, views and everything like that, but I, re I really don't care. It is really, really enjoyable. It's really cool, and even if it's not something you find enjoyable or whatever, it's really something if you're going to be using um, Linux, it's really something, or even, I guess, Mac, but um, it's really something that could benefit you, even if you just learn the basics of it. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, be on the lookout. My next video actually is going to be, it's in the works right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a man page to go along with your script or program you write, so that way when somebody installs it, um, they can have a set of instructions and a manual page stored with the rest of their man pages. Um, and kind of make it a little bit professional so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and um, yeah just stay safe this weekend god bless